at sea. Yeah, he's going to kill someone, I'm sure. Yeah. A bland cruiser with a tarpaulin trailing on the side, driving wildly. Someone's having a bad day. The trio following call police. They watch as the land cruiser skids off the road several times. The driver crosses the highway repeatedly and aims the car directly at oncoming traffic. That car has gone right in that ditch. They count the near misses. 20 cars forced to swerve at the last moment. Oh no, he's gonna hit him. Oh. On the Bustle Highway, a dual carriageway, the Land Cruiser crosses into oncoming traffic. Dude, this guy is trying to kill someone for sure. He's right. Seconds later, the driver aims the Land Cruiser at a white SUV. But they didn't even film it. They, <laughs> they sprint to the crash trying to offer some help. is called the 61 year old female driver in the white SUV died. The passenger, Aww. a 54 year old woman is pulled free but she is critical. Passes by then tow the white rab away from the Land Cruiser as a fire takes hold. Somehow the driver, a 45 year old man survived but he too is critical. He went through the uh, windscreen of the Land Cruiser. He obviously mustn't have been wearing a seatbelt. And uh, yeah, he was lying around the middle of the road. <coughs> Dylan and his two friends predicted a tragedy, but were helpless to warn other cars. Completely erratic. There was no explanation for it. Like he was physically driving the vehicle off road to take out signs and then veering into the oncoming traffic to deliberately have a head on collision. One of the drivers who was run off the road caught a glimpse of the man before the fatal crash. Guy's face, man, I just remember it. It's just. It's unbelievable, it's just like I've never seen before, he's jumping around his car and it's going nuts, you know, like he was happy about what he'd actually done. One witness who has spoken to Nine News say they believe the man had been camping on a beach at Capel and had had an argument, possibly with his partner, before venting his fury on the road. Mark Burrows, Nine News.